Yo, what up, everybody? Cameron Van Hoy here. Great to see you all again. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Let's talk about movies. Let's get our movies made. And let's entertain people. Um, I'm working on a film right now. And, you know, every time you put a movie together, especially if you're a producer or director, right, you're focused on that movie nonstop from beginning to end. It should be the thing that you think about all day long, whether you're writing it or casting it or financing it or shooting it or editing it or releasing it. it they, these movies consume you and they have to, right? That's the way, that's what it takes to make a film. Um, but it's very hard to get a movie started, you know? So you go through the writing process uh, in the instance of this movie that I'm currently putting together, uh, I did not write it. Someone else wrote it. Someone else wrote the script, came to me. I liked it. I thought it was something that I could direct. And we d- we developed it. So we would do table reads and then would give notes and then have sessions and then get new drafts and read and get more notes and do dra- blah, 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 blah. You do the whole thing. Development, right? Developing a script, getting it right, getting it where everyone who's going to make it feels that it needs to be. Um so there's that process, which does take some time and you want to, you want to make sure you do it right. And that you invest the time into it because once you start sending it to the town, that's it. You're going to get yeses or nos. Very simple. So that script's got to be on point. It represents you. The people that read it are going to go, Oh, this is the type of material this person sends around, you know? So you really want to get it right. Actors are going to read it and they're going to go, oh, this is a good character or this is a really poorly written, underdeveloped character, whatever whatever they're going to say, right? It represents you. So it's got to be right because you only get one chance to make a first impression, right? So you do the development work, which we've done. Then next step, let's go get the movie financed. Now, in my instance, with this particular film, you know, there's a company that is going to finance it, okay? And- now we're talking to cast, but this just brought a lot of memories and experiences to mind about the casting process, which I want to talk about specifically today, because there's a lot to learn here, especially about filmmaking at like kind of a, a bit of a more advanced stage, right? You're not like trying to just make your first movie. You're kind of in the game. You're in the Hollywood system, which by the way, anyone can get into, or right? don't feel like, oh, I'm not in the system. You don't have to live in Hollywood to be in the system. Number one, you, you don't even have to have had a movie made to like get into this system and play the game. It helps. The more movies you have made and the better they are and the more successful they are, all that helps. It makes it easier every time, but it's still hard every time. Don't kid yourself. Like it suddenly gets easy. It never does get easy, maybe a little easier. And then like the size can get a little bigger of each film if you pace that correctly. But it's always, it's always a battle, right? I believe, I'm sure... There are some that just, it's easy peasy, but I think it's, it's always a battle and that's okay. That's the fun of it. You want to fight the battle, right? It's the journey. It's all about the journey, not the destination. Um, so with casting, there's this nuanced game that has to happen when making a movie. The agents and the represent, representation for the actors, they want to know that the movie is financed. They want to, they want to know. They don't want, they don't want to attach, especially the bigger, the actor, because that actor is bringing value to the movie, right? So they want to know, they want to know that the movie's financed. They don't want to attach to a film, especially not just any old film. Very rarely is an actor going to go, yes, I'm attached to this. I want to do it pre any financing. Usually there's usually they just absolutely love the material. Usually the material got to them outside of their agent, which if you have a relationship, relationship to the actor you can go to the actor and say hey i have this and i want you to do it and they read it and they go oh my god i have to do this then they go to their agent and say i don't want to hear it i'm doing this this movie is getting made and i'm going to be in it then god bless you you know you got your actor and if they have some value you're going to get your financing but one it's very hard to do to get to the actor in that way to begin with you have to have a relationship which over time you will as you make more films you'll know more cast to be able to go to people and go hey i got something you want to be in it etc cetera, etc cetera. and that's beauty that is the fruits of your labor over time if you're doing this right that you get those relationships but until you have them you run into the person on the street or at a bar and somehow convince them they want to do it and they go oh that sounds great i want to do it then you call the agent the next day and you go hey your client has my script and they want to do it and then the agent goes fuck off right? Um, That happens a lot because agents, they don't want you to go around them. That's their whole job 
is to represent an actor and the decisions that they make, the projects that they do. So when you go around them, you piss them off, right? They're just like, no. And let me tell you, it is a culture. It will kill your project, all right? Very, you got to be one sharp son of a gun to go straight to cast and get it done the right way around agent. It's, there's a dance on both sides. You got to do it the right way. You got to do it the right way. So all of that said, the agent does not want to attach the actor to a project most of the time without it being financed. Ah, here's the chicken and the egg thing. The financing doesn't really want to do the movie unless the talent is attached. So how do you get one or the other, right? Well, this is where you got to kind of play the magic trick. And this is what makes, in my opinion, like really good producers. This is really a producing thing, even though directors can do this. But when they're doing it, they're really just acting as producer. They should get a producer credit, right? It's putting together a movie. Um, You know, let's say a financier goes, we're going to do it. We're ready to do it. We're interested. Or let's say they even say, we're interested to do your movie. We're interested. Okay, cool, right? Go to the agent, call them, send an email, do what you got to do to get in touch. It's not hard to get in touch. Hey, I have a project and it's financed. They're financing it. Oh, okay. Let's, do, let's, let's, let's unpack that, right? Because technically, you know, the film's not financed yet by them. They maybe expressed some slight interest or maybe they said they'll do it. Maybe you're negotiating a deal, whatever it is. Maybe they're just like, yeah, interesting. We'll give it a read. We're interested. Whatever it is, whatever it is. You just, you just told a little lie. Okay. But now the agent is going to go mm, finance movie. Okay. Of course they're going to want an offer and we'll get into offers because there's really two types, payer plays or just, you know, offers. Um, but the agent, if you say, you know, there's some financing from a reputable source of financing, place that they know is making films. Okay. Some interest here. Now you can go and say, Hey, we've got this financing. We're interested in your client. We're ready to make an offer. Oh, so they start talking, right? What's going to happen? What's the worst that's going to happen? Are they going to call that financier and say, is this movie financed? Well, one, if that financier is at all interested in your movie, okay? And, and knows of it and gets that phone call, they're not going to say no. They're not going to say no. Not if it's a good piece of talent that they want. They're not going to say no. They're going to go, hmm, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, right? So you, you kind of like, you play these two people, these two entities against each other, if that even comes up. Now, let's say it doesn't come up. Let's say the agent just takes your word and it goes, okay, client's interested. Ooh, now the client's interested. So now you can go back to that financier and five others that you've had lined up, maybe some that he even said no to begin with along the way and go back and say, I have a piece of talent. They're on. They're, they, they're, I have a talent, I have talent attached. This one, the one that we all like. They're interested. They're ready to do it. That's Everyone's going to perk up, change their tune. Oh, time to do something. And you ping pong until you... Get it done. And you have to do that in film in many places. You have to, because no one wants to be the first to say yes. Everyone's afraid. Everyone's afraid. Everyone's like trying to be cool and coy and tiptoe and not, you know, and like play games and like fuck all that, you know? You, so I'm not saying to be a liar, or do all these things, or whatever, but sometimes, especially when you're really starting, you've got to be bold and aggressive. I have been bold and aggressive in my life. I have gotten, I'm not going to name names, but you can look at my work. There are films with, you know, sizable actors in them. Uh, one in particular, I can tell you the way that I got that actor was by being in a poker game with them. And I knew I had the film. I knew that I potentially had the financing, but it was contingent upon certain cast coming in. I'd spoken about this actor that I knew I had, an ability to communicate with via this game. And um, the time came that I had lined it all up with like some pretty good, you attach this cast, X included, this is going to occur. And um, it was just like a, 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 a night of the will because 
I wanted to stick around in the game till the very end. And it just so happened that myself and the actor were the last two playing. So like everyone just kept leaving. And I would like even lose to this person at times, keep them in the game. It was, you know, you really know, like fend off other people. It's just, and you know, poker, it's a lot of it is the chance of the cards. Of course, there's the, the skill of playing, et cetera. But it was really like, just nothing was going to stop me from getting this actor attached and got down to just the two of us. One, they took first place. I took second, sat outside, good game. Hey, by the way, rest is history. Movie was made. So you got to be bold in your approach when it comes to making movies. You got to. No one else is going to do it for you, especially if you believe in what you're doing. Don't do it if you don't believe in it. Make sure you believe in it, you know? Um, But yeah, I hope this was helpful. And you can think about ways to apply this in many scenarios. And I know this is like a nuanced thing and it almost sounds like a little tricky. but it's what's required and it's what everyone who's getting things done in this town is doing or has done at one point or the other, right? You got to make the first move. You got to do it with tact and you have to understand the psychology of human nature and of business and of this business. And if you have all those things with a good project, you'll make things happen. Have a great day. Let me know what you think in the comments actually about this conversation and let's make some movies.